with the interest rate increasing and the general expectation from home buyers or homeowners alike that the market should be going down should i request reassessment of my property taxes that's the question with the interest rates jumping out from their bottoms and the expectations by the buyers and homeowners that home prices could go down everyone is having this question should i go and request for a property tax reassessment or lowering of the property taxes that's the question hi i'm amul heda with keller williams various states and author of thriving through ownership so this is the question a lot of people are asking just now i keep getting emails calls texts from my clients as to what's going on and i'm going to give make it more generic for everybody to think about it yes the interest rates have gone three times from the bottom that they were like i have done the lowest transaction at 2% 30 year fixed and now i just put somebody in a transaction at 6.5% for 5 year or 10 year 5 year and just imagine with that kind of a increase in interest rates everybody thinks how can we even afford a home now because the ratio isn't going to work and what i mean by the ratio isn't going to work the ratio of how much you do debt service and housing expenses divided by the income that you bring in monthly the income if it doesn't change this ratio increases dramatically so now the catch is that even though the interest rates have jumped three times the property prices are not going down so guess what is happening what's going on just now is that the numerator did increase that is the housing expense did go up it became bigger but the denominator which is the income particularly here in the bay area in the santa clara county that did not go down or did not stay the same in fact that income went up people's stock holdings have gone up dramatically the income from stocks has gone up dramatically and this is the difference that the home prices so even though the numerator which is the expense towards housing has gone up the denominator which is the income that we are making here in the bay area has gone up too in the rest of the country not so much even in some counties around the bay area that depend on some conventional income that's not the case but this is the case and so what has happened i did do comparables for three or five clients so far and in those comparables where i give the estimate of home value to my clients when i give those who estimates of home value the home values haven't gone down and so the letters that you are getting in mail from companies that are trying to tell you to go request the reassessment they don't hold true in fact in one of my clients case one account was actually matching like my client's home was 1750 square feet and one comparable was 1750 square feet that sold for slightly less but the interest rate had already gone up but they used two other comparables for 1250 square feet guess guess 1750 and 1250 square feet how does that even get called as a comparable and then they are showing the lower property prices of 1.15 or 1.18 and this company sends out a mail to my client saying oh you can get a lower assessment in fact if you divide the 1.15 by 1250 square feet the dollar per square feet is much higher and the property assessors in the county are smart enough 
to look at this and you may not get a reassessment or a lower reassessment. I hope this helps. And if you have questions and if you seriously think market rallies in your county have gone down or in your neighborhood have gone down, please reach out to me. I'm happy to help with, help with a comparable market analysis and try to validate what will or will not work. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.